Father, thank you. I know you're going through seasons and phases and time of your life. And I know seasons are very difficult and tough. Sometimes look like you have pray and pray and pray. And it appears like God is not even hearing. And sometimes you have come to a point where you are asking God, where are you? And we have come to a point where we pray and pray and we are saying, God, if you are the one, why not appear? And I come to a point where a lot have discouraged. But my brother, my sister, by strength no man shall prevail. By knowledge alone no man shall prevail. I pray that the Lord visit your heart, visit your whatever situation you are in. I've been in a couple of situations myself. Some, I was the architect of them. Some, it was the picture that others have of me. Some, it was my own mistake. Some, it was my own error. Some, it practically had nothing to do with the Lord. You know, today, it's not everything that the devil is involved. It's not everything. You see, one good thing is that the devil does not delete your history or your past. Only the blood of Jesus does that. He said he'll blot out every evil heart writing. It means that the devil keeps record of your past, to the things you have done in the past. The devil does not forget that. He's not playing. Once in a while, he'll bring it back on your face. That's why he's called the accuser of the brethren. He can accuse you all day long. And sometimes when you come to the place of prayer, you, don't, you can't even pray because you're so emancipated at the things that is going on in your life. Today you are too busy to even pray. You are so discouraged to pray. But there is a God that loves you that much. That cares about you. That still believes in you. Mind you, every day you pass upon the earth, every 24 hours, God is counting on you. Hoping that one day you run to him. And that you'll be able to submit to him. I know that he's waiting on you. Because nothing happens upon the earth except the man pray. Prayer is not just what we just say. Prayer is what we also do. It's in our character. It's in our behavior. It's in our formulation. I pray that God encourage you and strengthen you. I pray that God watch your back and truly watch your front. I pray God wipe away your tears. I pray God strengthen your hands and strengthen your feet. To some of you, you are so much down, broken, and downcasted. He is a supplier. He is a defender. He is a protector. He is a lover. He is a friend. You can count on him. You can trust him. You can rely on him. When everybody goes away, he is everly present, help in the times of need. He is always there at midnight. He is there in the morning. He is there in the noonday. He's there in the evening hour. When everybody leaves you, he's heavily there. When you are all down and crying, he's there. He's a comforter. He's a friend. You can trust him. I don't know what's going on in your life in this season, but you can trust him. Sometimes you have to go and just thank him for things that is not working on in your life. Lord, thank you for storm. I don't understand why I'm going through what I'm going through, but Lord, thank you. I know you are there. Even when I can't feel you, I know you are there. Just know that you are not all by yourself. You have an advocate. The one that prays for you with, with groaning that cannot be uttered. He is an intercessor. He is a lover. I pray that your heart receives strength. I pray that you are encouraged. No wonder. Scripture said, I will restore all the wasted years that the caterpillar and the canker worm have eaten. The Lord said, I will restore. It feels like it's not just you that make the mistake. It means that there were forces that were just after you to make sure you failed. And God called them the caterpillar and the canker worm. He said, they have caused you to waste a year and a moment. But the Lord said, as long as you come to me, I will restore. 
I will restore all the years that the caterpillar and the cankerworm have wasted. I know for sure that the earth is going through a season. The body of Christ is going through it across the world. We are going through a trying season. Probably because we feel so blessed somehow. So we forgot the place of acknowledging him. But I know that he loves you. He cares about you. I know he's waiting on you. And trust me, he's ready to restore all that you have lost or wasted. He's still willing to care. He's a friend, trust me. That's he closer than a brother. He's more closer to you than a pastor. Nobody pray for you like he does. He intercedes for you. Oh God, he cares. He looks forward to you. When everybody give up on you, he's a present help. He still loves you. He's waiting on you to come back to him. His arms are wide open. He can fix any situation. He can heal any disease. He can restore every broken world. He can bring down every high mountain. He can fill every valley. He can restore every wasted moment. He's willing. The question is, are you willing to come to him? Jesus, I just need you. I need you now. And I'll always need you forever. It's as simple as that. And he's there. He don't, you know, demons don't go to school. They have no respect for your credentials. But they are very concerned about who you follow and who you submit. And to me, and to you, he encouraged us to come to him boldly to the throne of grace. His love is called grace. Grace is a person. He's willing to be with you. And I pray that you embrace his love today. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. God strengthen you. The Lord keep his hand and his face upon you. May God be gracious unto you and give you peace all the days of your life. We, we are waiting for you. Your worst days are behind you. Your best days, trust me, is ahead of you. See you on top. Shalom.